Hello friends, this is Bharat. Welcome to Sunil Engineering Academy. We are looking into the subject of Environmental Studies and Pollution, which carries almost 10 marks in the RRBJE CBT2 exam. And we are looking into the topic Acid Rain, friends, which is, which is also a very important topic. So, Acid Rain is a terminology, but actual phenomenon is acidification friends so if you know about acidification then you will come to know about the acid rain acidification is yet another major factor responsible for biodiversity depletion and environment degradation friends okay actually what happens is that due to the acidification of the biodiversity this biodiversity depletes and it causes environment degradation friends and this acid precipitation is a rain or snowfall see acid rain is not particularly a rain form but also it might be of uh, acid precipitation or snowfall also friends okay these acids combine with the falling rain or falling falling snow and it causes the acid rain friends okay when we will call ca call the rain as a acid rain when its ph value ph value is less than 5.65 so this is very very important if the rain ph value is less than 5.65 less than 5.65 it is called acid rain friends first this term acid rain is coined by british chemist that is angus smith in 1858 friends so it refers to precipitation with a ph value of 5.6 less than 5.6 friends when precipitation has less than 5.6 it usually due to the injection of sulfur compounds or nitrogen oxides friends so what happens this sulfur and nitrogen oxides which is in the atmosphere combines with the water or the rain and reaches the earth surface friends and this is called acid rain and how does this sulfur and sulfur compounds and nitro nitrous nitrogen oxides are in the atmosphere we will see that actually we use the fossil fuel like coal burning thermal power plants industrial furnaces and motor vehicles these inject lot of chemicals in the atmosphere in the atmosphere the chemicals combine with the water to form sulfuric acid and nitric acid in small droplets friends actually these sulfur compounds and nitrogen compounds are in the are emitted by the uh, factories vehicles and thermal power plants coal burning using color, thermal power plants and industrial furnaces friends okay these combine with the uh, humidity or small water droplets in the atmosphere and they form acids and these acids combining with the rainwater and comes to the earth surface as a acidic acidification this is called acidification as a acid rain friends okay the main gas involved in the production of acid rains are as i said earlier nitrogen oxides no and nitrogen dioxide no2 and sulfur dioxide so2 friends okay the major sources of this gas are i have said earlier the coal coal is burnt in the thermal power the fossil fuels and industrial processes so acid rain is a phase that applies to a process that results in deposition deposition of acid on the surface of the earth in simply what we can say this acid rain deposits acid on the surface of the earth so there will be some acid molecules after the rain falls this acid acidified rain is deposited on the earth surface friends all, precip all precipitations is slightly acidic in nature one index of measuring acidity is the concentration of hydrogen ions that is called ph the neutral solution has you all know that the neutral uh, neutral solution that is a exact neutral solution not acidic not basic is of ph value 7 friends there is a scale from 1 to 
14 14 friends and 7 is neutral from 1 to 7 it is called acid from 7 to 14 it is called base so this is 1 to 14 it is the pH value friends pH value so this pH value is nothing but the concentration of hydrogen ions and that is a brief explanation about what is pH the lower the pH the more acidic in the nature friends and each unit of pH drops the acidity increases by a multiple of 10 what it says that in the in the scale of 1 to 14 okay friends from 1 to 14 it is 7 it says that from 6 to 5 if you move from 6 to 5 if there is an acid here which is of pH 6 and there is a acid of pH 5 it says that pH 5 acid is 10 times more acidic than pH 6 friends in the same way the pH 4 acid is 10 times more acidic than pH 5 acid in the sense here the pH 4 acid is 100 times more acidic than pH 6 acid friends so that's what the explanation goes and neutral it is of pH 7 friends impact of acid rain on precipitation the impact of acid rain. so what is the impact of the acid rain after the acid rain occurs what happens actually these acid rain obviously the water all the water go to the water bodies all the rain uh, goes to the water bodies like lakes rivers and oceans here what does oh, aquatic environment will be there in these water bodies mainly fishes and some aquatic plants friends this aquatic system is disturbed if that pH value of that water body reduces than 5.5 if the pH value is dropped to about 5.5 it is that fish becomes endangered friends okay so most of the fish species stop reproducing at the pH levels of 5.3 to 5.6 if this falls between these the reproduction of the fish is stopped friends so the sensitivity of the lakes to acidification depends on their natural ability to neutralize the acidic acidific run of water into the lake if there is a lake and if acid run of water comes into that lake that lake should have the ability to neutralize that acid okay and that is called sensitivity of the lake for some lakes this sensitivity is very less and it often it gives into the acidification of this lake and the total aquatic system will be dead in that lake friends okay here it also depends upon the if the, this is the lake it also depends upon the parent rock friends if this parent rock is of igni igneous rock or metamorphic rock then it is of it contains more of silicates friends these silicates are more sensitive to acid acid deposition friends so this lake tends to tends to be depleted in the short run friends if the parent rock is of if the parent rock is of made of mineral salts like calcium and magnesium and phosphorus if the if there is a lake okay there is a parent rock beneath the lake and this parent rock is of made of calcium magnesium and phosphorus then it can tolerate and it can neutralize the runoff acidic water friends runoff acidic water so these kind of lakes can sustain the acidifications also so they are more sensitive and it has more power to neutralize the acidic runoff water friends so it also depends upon the parent rock beneath the lake friends the reason that soil solution tend to move towards alkaline and the salts neutralize the acid friends okay you have known the 
so measures to check effects of acid precipitation how can we check the acid precipitation effects friends the both in the developed and as well as the developing countries various remedial measures have been taken to reduce the adverse effect of the acidic per precipitation some of the remedial st steps are curtailing the emissions of the harmful gases and substances from the thermal and chemical plants friends so we all know that we have to reduce the harmful gases emission from the thermal and chemical plants compelling the and pressures or build should be built up on the industries for, for to use better quality of coal which has to emit low emission levels of sulfur and other harmful substances using alternate technologies for effective use of fossil fuels friends so implementation of the environment pollution laws and more effectively environment impact assessment on plants animals humanity and ecology before the establishment establishment of any major and minor industries so these are the remedial measures or cautious measures that you can take up to reduce the not only acidifications to reduce the environmental pollutants in the atmosphere as well as you can uh, reduce the acidification of the atmosphere okay we will see the some of the important and very very important quiz point quiz on one liners friends so this is very very important acid rain has ph a rain it is a rain is called acid rain when its ph value is less than 5.6 approximately so for the sampling of acidity in the rain water this rain water is not collected in the glass containers friends okay because this glass containers will alter the ph of the rain water so this is the answer friends sulfur dioxide and nitrous oxide earlier nitrous oxide nitrogen dioxide and sulfur dioxide have high tendency to mix with the water to form acid rain friends application of magnesium and calcium rich substance to soil to neutralize and acidic acidicity due to the excess of acidic rainfall is called liming so friends this neutralization process of magnesium calcium and phosphorus rich substance with the acidicity of the runoff water or acidic rain water it is called lime liming friends the neutralization process is called liming friends the phenomenon of acid rain was discovered by the phenomenon of rain, acid rain water the word it's not the terminology it's a phenomenon is found by the robert a so 4.8 ph is required for the survival of aquatic animals and plants for the survival 4.8 ph is at least 4.8 ph is required to uh, but if the uh, five uh, if the ph is reduced to 5.5 then the reproduction of the fish is stopped friends but to survive 4. Point, at least 4.4.8 ph is required so you know that uh, our uh, our current issue that yellowing of the taj mahal is caused by the organic carbon black carbon and brown carbon caused acidic rains friends okay the sulfur dioxide is produced by volcanic eruptions or coal firing power stations in cultivation limestone is added to increase the ability of the soil to keep the ph stable friends in cultivation in some areas where acidification or acid rain or runoff water is prevalent that they use the limestone to keep the ph stable friends adverse effect of rain water is acid rain or causing paint to peel off corrosion of steel structures and killing killing insects friends okay that's all from the acid rain you can go through the uh, go through the pdf the link is given in the description box you can download this pdf not only this topic there are many other topics of electrical and electronic engineering as well as a PE, physics and chemistry topics this acid rain I have explained what is acid rain and what are the what is the pH value of acid rain and what are the gases or components causes acid rain and where it from where it is released and how can we check the 
uh, what is the impact of acid rain on precipitation and measures to check the effects of acid precipitation and also the one liners which are very very important friends thank you we will see uh, ozone layer depletion in the next video thank you friends take care bye bye